G'day everyone, welcome to the Husky channel. Uh, today we're going to have a look at uh, my new Colner 40 litre camp fridge. It works on 24 volt, 12 volt and 240 volt uh, at home. So basically you can plug it in at home. And um, I received it yesterday and just give you a quick look over the top of it. I received it yesterday but uh, it said on the box leave it standing upright for 10 hours um, just so all the uh, the gases can um, can um, run down and when, before you start the compressor so obviously there's the panel up and down for temperature power on and I think there's a menu there and the display is in the middle there which uh, you set your temperature uh, it's got a couple of little recessed sort of handles, little holes there, so you can pick it, pick everything up. Uh, it's quite heavy. Now I'll try to open the lid. You can see inside. There you go. That's inside the uh, the fridge itself. So we've got a dairy section there, fruit and dairy. As you can see there, we have the main section, which is pretty deep. Uh, People that live in Australia know the two litre bottles of, uh, of soft drink. Uh, yeah, they'll fit in there pretty easily. Um, I'm about to turn it on pretty soon. Okay, here the compressor has just started. I've started it up. I set it to three degrees Celsius and I've put in a couple of bottles of water. And there's the, uh, the light there, it's got a blue light. So we'll just uh, close it up and hopefully it, uh, within an hour or two, or maybe even sooner, I don't know how long it takes, <laughs> it might only take 15 minutes to go down to 3 degrees. Then we'll see how we go, but at the moment the compressor is on, don't know if you can hear that through the camera, it's pretty quiet and it's showing 18 degrees. So we'll uh, continue this video. Welcome back everybody, as you can see there the time just over 16 minutes and the fridge has reached 3 degrees Celsius. Now it started off at 18 degrees Celsius, so 16 minutes later the compressor has just turned off and uh, it's reached the desired setting, it's actually gone down to 2 degrees now obviously because the compressor was still working just a bit longer and it reaches the desired temperature and then it just shuts down so obviously when it warms up again it will start up again so we'll open up inside I'll just grab a bottle and yep they seem pretty cool uh, yep I mean they yeah it's cold in there I can I can feel I can feel uh, there you go I can feel the uh, yeah everything's cold in there and the bottles are cold obviously they've uh, they've chilled down and while you're on a, uh, a decent drive or you're out camping, everything will stay cold in there. So that's pretty great, you know, for $300, I think it was just over $300 Australian, it is fantastic. And um, yeah, so for around 16 minutes it got me down from 18 degrees Celsius and now it's showing one, zero. So it's obviously the compressor worked up to three degrees, but it's still uh, pretty chilled inside there so under zero degrees celsius things start to freeze and i think it has a maximum setting of 18 minus 18 celsius from memory if i read the book right but uh um but yeah let's have a look so if we go three two one then negatives so we just keep it in there so there you go negative 20 actually negative 20 but we won't go to negative 20. <laughs> That's if you want to use the uh, the camp fridge as a um, so we'll set that. If you want to use it as a fr as a freezer, but we just want to. I just wanted to test it off as a fridge at the moment. So it's minus one now. And that's good. So for three hundred dollars, around three hundred dollars Australian, you get a fantastic camp fridge, portable fridge that you can take in your in your camper trailer, your caravan, or just stick it in the back of your four-wheel drive just for day trips and it only took 16 minutes to get it down to temperature so obviously on a warmer day that's 30 plus degrees it might take 20 minutes half an hour but it's pretty good 
Thanks for watching. One thing I forgot to mention, uh, the fridge comes with a USB port right there. It is a 5 volt, 1 amp uh, USB port. So you can plug in your, uh, there you go, if I can zoom into that, if it lets me. No, it won't let me zoom into it, but there you go. It's, uh, yeah, great, so you can charge your phone while the fridge is running. Or anything that you want that charges through a USB port, so that's pretty handy. I only saw it just uh, before and I thought, oh, I wonder what this is. A little USB port, there you go. Cheers.